Hey y'all, here we are again with our favorite ML Mercedes-Benz ML320 CDI. It's a W164 2007 diesel powered and the rear door and rear brake lights don't work. So narrowed it down to the SAM unit. So here's the SAM right here and I'll show you how I fixed it. But anyway, you don't need to replace them. These parts are expensive as hell and you can fix them yourself if they go bad. Usually what happens is they get water in them or they get dirt or sometimes the transistors get fried or traces break so anyway I'm going to show you how I fixed mine here okay so here's the rear SAM unit right here I've taken it out of the box pulled it out already and I'll show you what went wrong so this little bodge wire here <clears throat> this integrated circuit here is a uh, MUX some sort of multiplexer unit it's got a code on it, I think it's CD4015. So anyway, a trace has burned out. And you can see the traces and the via holes. And it looks like the trace has become disconnected from the via holes. So the way to fix that, the way to find that out is to look at it with a jeweler's loop and look at the traces. So one of the important tools that you need is a jeweler's loop and you can go in there really carefully and you can check the wire traces and you can see that some of these traces have been burned and they've been disconnected from the via holes. So, and that's probably due to corrosion. So anyway, so what I did was I put a bodge wire in there to connect the, uh, the B terminal of that little multiplexer unit to the other side of the board and you can see the other side of the board this is where it needs to connect to the via hole normally connects it but this time the via hole cracked and broke and you gotta hot glue the via the, the bodge wire down because it'll vibrate itself free so basically you solder that wire in there and then the other problem that went the other problem that happened is these little surface mount transistors have failed and you can get in there and you can see these are BCR 135 SOT 23s. That's what these are. These two guys here both died. BCR 135 SOT 23 transistors with a little resistor inside, integrated resistor. So what I did was I just bought some new ones. So in a great place to buy these little BCR 135 transistors is a company called Little Diode of New Malden, United Kingdom. And these are little $3 parts, maybe $1.50 parts. So that's what you need. And these little diodes, these, these little BCR-135s, they are the diodes that uh, control the uh, power to the brake lights in the, in the rear lift gate. So that's what it is. So the, what you got to do if you have, ever have this problem is pull out your rear SAM and check this area down here and make sure the diode, make sure the transistors haven't been fried. And you can tell if they're fried because sometimes they're blackened or they're covered in covered in grime. And that's what you got to do. So this section here is also a power section, so it's going to eat up a lot of power, and you can probably see why. Over time, it's gonna these transistors, these two transistors are gonna fail. So what's inside a a SAM unit? So a SAM unit has a lot of parts on it. Here's a microcontroller of some sort, and then you've got these little integrated circuits, and these integrated circuits are multiplexers, and we're looking at it upside down. The little indent is the is the is the uh, the base of the unit so this thing is made by Delphi these are you can look up the part number for these guys these are what are they BCM 4015 now these are uh, 4015 BCMs it's basically a multiplexer uh, yeah just a mux that's all it is so and this connector this wire is the C is the B terminal and all three of these, the B terminals are connected together. So in this little guy here, sometimes this transistor goes bad. So what you gotta do, the first thing you gotta do when you pull out your SAM is clean it off really well with alcohol. 
and then inspect the traces, clean up any dirt, and check these little tiny transistors, check your your capacitors, surface mount capacitors, and your resistors with a voltmeter. Some of the tools that you'll need to do this is a voltmeter. You need a good voltmeter like this. This is a high-end, very high quality, very expensive voltmeter. And you need a soldering iron like this. You need a hot glue gun to hold the bodge wire down. And you need some flux and some solder. And a little bit of wire wrap wire to do a bodge if you need to, if your, if your vehicles are burned. And of course you need your SAM unit, your rear SAM is a good start. Get one of these out, get yours, get it out of the back of your car. It's going to be on the right hand side behind the fuse box down on the floor. Finally, the last thing you'll need is a, a good uh, code reader and the iCarsoft i980 is one of the best. It's cheap, it's like $150 or less and it's made for Mercedes-Benz Smart and Sprinters and it's only for a Mercedes Smart and Sprinter. So this is what you need. So it comes in a handy little carrying case with the cable for OBD2. Doesn't need any batteries. Comes pre-programmed for your Mercedes. So that's what you need. Okay, and so once you fix your SAM unit, just put it back in the case, put the cover on it, like this. Of course you want to clean it really carefully, get all the dust out, and you just snap this cover, snap this guy back on, it just snaps in place. No tools needed, just your fingers. So anyway, yeah, that's what it is. So the other thing you got to do is you got to disconnect your battery before you unplug your SAM unit. It's very important, the battery is and always slide the seat forward to get to the battery. It's under the front passenger seat. Okay, so the rear SAM is back here. You can see it's under this, behind the fuse box. Pull off all your trim. Pull this trim back like this. Pull out your rear deck. Okay, so the rear SAM has a lot of connectors on it. You just have to pull all these connectors off and they go onto these terminals here. So, well, they're all rear SAM. So anyway, the number one cause of failure for rear SAMs is the tail light module back here. And you can see this guy here can be loose and water can get in. So, <clears throat> Usually water leaks in through the tail light module and you can see it right back there. That's what's wrong. So if your rear SAM is failing, make sure your water seals are nice and tight. Okay, so here's a rear SAM unit. You can see it's got a Delphi part number on it. It says SAM rear. And it goes back here. The best way to get it in there, get it in and out, is to pull this trim back like this. You can pull the trim away from the wall. You gotta pull out your trunk lid, pull off your rear decking. Basically, you gotta lift your spare tire back. So, the best way to get it in and out is to lift this thing apart like that, and then it goes right in there like that so we're gonna go put it in there so we're just gonna slide her in like this and you can see it fits right back in there you can see that's how it fits in just like that so and it just kind of snaps in there that's all you got to do and you just put those wires back in Okay, here's a correction. It actually needs to go in like this with the label facing down to the right. Okay, so once you connect all the plugs, it looks like this. That's what it looks like. You get your fuse box here. We'll zoom out, show you what it looks like. So now the final step is to reconnect that battery.
and then test out the rear door. So the final step is to go into your iCarsoft 980, get your iCarsoft i980 and do some diagnostics. So what you want to do is you get in here, select, plug it into your OBD2 port, select diagnostics, select bends, pick a version, and then go down to the ML section. So you're looking for ML 164 diesel and this one here is a 164.125 and you want to do manual and then what you want to do now is you go into the look for SAM rear Sam Rear, coming up, there's a lot of things here. Okay, here's Sam Rear, Sam R. And then you read the module information, and that's what it is. It's a module, Sam Rear CAN bus, on the CAN bus. And you go back here, read the fault codes. And what we have here is a high mounted stop lamp or the line has a short to uh, that's not good but anyway that's a high mounted stop lamp so and then what you could do now is you could go view the data and what we're going to look for are the lamps exterior lighting is what we're looking for and we're going to select all and then hit start and this will be live data so what we want to do now is turn it on tail lamp license plate so we're going to turn those off they're off now high mounted stoplight oh boy that thing there it is it says it's on turn these lights back on turn on the left signals left turn signal it's working so step on the brakes left stop lamps are all the way off that's So left stop lamp is off. Right stop lamp. Looks like it's off too, even though we're stepping on the brakes. Right stop lamps. There they are. Now they're on. So right stop lamps are on. This is coming right off the CAN bus takes a little bit of time for that to happen. Left stop lamp is off. So anyway, that's how you do it. You can just test your individual components. So the other thing to check is the fuel gauge. Your fuel gauge, you can turn that on. So the other thing you can do is you can check the fuel tank sensor. That's another thing that comes out of the rear SAM. So these are the current readings of the fuel gauge, fuel tank sensors. So this little bit of gear down here, that's the motor controller for the for the lift gate. This is the motor controller. So 
Not much to do down there though. 